started removing the exhaust and found some wear and tear on the exhaust system that needed to come apart. The hangers here were uh, cracked and broken. You can see traces of leaking. Uh, it's not completely shot, but it needs to be completely all disassembled and cleaned, inspected, welded if anything needs to be welded, and then reassembled. And we have new exhaust pipes. So these, the pipe is going to from right here, from there all the way up to the tip. That's going to be a. I have a new stainless steel exhaust pipe that's tapered, just like the factory, just like it came from the factory. This is not. This is just like a straight pipe, and it pops. So when the exhaust, when it's firing, it's popping out out both both sides. Well, with putting the taper in and cutting it at an angle and having it out the back, it'll allow it a lot, a different, it'll change the exhaust from a popping sound to a more smoother, smoother exhaust sound. And it also helps when flying through, it'll create a, you know, it helps even out the pressures. All right. So we're just getting ready. Uh, oil cooler is gonna come off. It's gonna get sent in to cryo heat. There's gonna be a few parts and pieces that get sent to cryo heat. Uh, the valve covers, I have a new set of valve covers. Um, let's see. These are, I, it's one of the first things I ordered. Um, when I first, when I personally first bought this plane, it's kind of like the first parts I've ordered. So I've had these for a while, but they're aware. These things are actually a wear item. The rocker shaft free floats, uh, and the sides are the service limits of, of the shaft. And these things, the pads are wore, the pad, some of these pads are wore pretty good on there where it, spun on it anyway so these are going to get cryo treatment and what that allow is to put it in the same metal urgy configuration as the new cylinders will be i've had the cylinders or and pistons and wrist pins and everything and rings cryo cryo heated and it's going to reduce heat and friction well it reduces friction which thereby reduces heat and this plane this engine should run really nice and smooth and cool and i'm gonna when i get the head the, the cylinders back i'm gonna do a little uh, port and polish up inside just mainly polish but i'll do a little bit of porting just to clean up all the just to true it up it's got a bunch it's it's kind of nasty and casting they didn't do a very good job at, on the on the intake and exhaust ports they really didn't care so just a little bit of deburring de of the canals and then polish it up a little bit makes a will make a huge difference in airplane world <laughs> so anyway that's where we're at we've got shop set up we've got the manuals we've already read all the the procedures to remove and to uh assemble we have we will have that as we go through the process of reassembly, it will be as per the latest E225 Continental Service Manual. And, uh, and we will get her done and get her all torqued up right, get it, everything measured. I'm gonna recheck the weights so that I know which cylinders, you know, as far as They've already been balanced, so the all six cylinders is a set. It's a balanced set that's coming. Um, and just going to double check it and make sure we're all on the same sheet of music. So that's where we're at today, and it's it's going to be a process. I mean, this nothing's going to happen fast. It's crazy, but we're going to make progress today of removing all of the exhaust intake. Uh, 
everything getting and moving the heat shields and baffling that needs to come off and prep this for cylinder removal. Um, and that's where we're at today. I think we're gonna make a good progress today on this. I feel real good that we'll have most of this disassembled. I'm not gonna remove the cylinders yet. I'm not gonna remove the cylinders until I have the uh, the other cylinders set here, but it'll be ready. So that's where we're at for today. You guys have a great day. Bye.